It found after interviews, after all the, everything at the scene has led that we have finally uh, locate, located the remains of all four children. Um, it, as a father, as a parent, it breaks my heart. As a sheriff, it angers me. not disclosing that um, I don't have the specifics personally um, I want everybody before we get fully into these questions which is a good one it's a good question I may not answer every one of your questions because what I'm going to assure is the integrity of this case is to its highest so that when we do go to trial on this individual no one could poke holes into this case whatsoever but they have been located, and I don't have it exactly. When we were there, we spoke with neighbors who uh, gave their opinion that they thought that this had maybe happened a month ago. Are you able to talk to timing of this, when he may have uh, killed either his wife or these children? We, it is unclear at this time, okay? Um, what we do know is, uh, based on family, uh, they've been missing for roughly about uh, four to six weeks. Uh, it was reported Saturday night, and obviously we located and, and turned this over within a 24-hour period. Um, and from there, um, the reporting, how long and all that, why, don't know. The Brantley County Sheriff's Office told me that he gave him up, himself up pretty quickly um, when they encountered him in the car and told them that Casey's body was in the car. Can you confirm that? Yes, that is the truth. Do you, can you speak to what that means moving forward with the investigation that he did provide this information uh, about her and the children's remains uh, so quickly? Say that one I'm more sorry, time. I'm sorry. Can you speak to um, what this means for the investigation? I know you all were hoping for, for a different outcome um, with these kids, but he led you all to the bodies pretty quickly. Obviously, it changed the direction of our investigation. You know, our hopes, like you already mentioned, our hopes was to find them somewhere that he left them, uh, but alive. The direction now is obviously homicide, and it's a straight focus. Uh, when, we, when he immediately told them, our office went into action, sending de uh, detectives immediately there uh, to do the, conduct the interviews. Uh, search warrants for the van has been obtained. A warrant for him has been obtained. Um, so we've already put everything in motion, and now where we have to do is, and citizens and people need to understand, is what I've already mentioned, is the integrity of the case, ensuring that we put every piece of that puzzle together. Um, may not know why, but we will do our damnedest to find out how it was done. What is he currently, oh, go ahead. I was going to say, Sheriff, I know that um, the PIO was telling me that the, um, there was a bolo out for their car, her car. Yes, ma'am. And then how did they connect him with the car they found him? And well, obviously, when you put a, all of us in law enforcement, we share information. So when that's put out there, because of the traffic crash that he was involved in, that was the immediate alert. Okay? That was their first contact. First contact of law enforcement after the information was sent out. What is he being charged with right now? I know it was initially second-degree homicide for his wife. Now, how many counts and what are his charges? Currently, it still sits at second-degree murder. Uh, for her. The other ones were still working with the state attorney's office. 
Sheriff, could you tell me more about the crash? How, uh, no, ma'am, I do not know anything about the crash itself. The fact that he was involved in the crash in Georgia that... Yes, ma'am. The body, Casey's body was found in the car? Yes, ma'am. Did he say anything? Did he... He probably said some stuff that I'm not privy to at this moment, okay? Um, and, I, and if I did, I probably wouldn't want to get into it. I'm going to be frank with y'all. Because uh, all we need to know is that's evil. And evil did something. And evil needs to pay for what he did. Plain and simple as that. Do you know um, if it said in the press release here that... Uh, is believed you believe that the bodies were stored in his van for possibly weeks uh was this his personal car or was it a u-haul by chance i know neighbors said that there was a u-haul in the driveway that they believed to uh this is a personal vehicle personal vehicle thank mm -hmm. you any others thank you for coming